Hello, in this video we're going to use the exchange rate to convert a foreign price into US dollars and then vice versa. In Italy, the price of an Italian meal is 30 euros. In the US, the price of a Disney vacation is 2,000 US dollars. Suppose the exchange rate is 0 0.88 euros per dollar. What is the price of the Italian meal in US dollars and what is the price of the Disney vacation in euros? Given our exchange rate information on top here, we can write this simple formula, 0.88 euros equals 1 US dollar. We can also take this equation here and divide through by 0.88. So if we divide through by 0.88, 1 divided by 0.88 is 1.136. In other words, 1 euro will get you back 1 dollar and roughly 14 cents. What is the price of the Italian meal in dollars? The Italian meal is 30 euro, and here we have an equation where it says a euro equals 1.136. So we're going to make a substitution, and for euro, we're going to plug in that 1.136, do the math, and we see that 30 euro meal in Italy has a price of $34.09. $34.09. What is the price of the Disney vacation in euros? The Disney vacation is 2,000 US dollars. Here we have an equation over here that says 1 US dollar equals 0 0.88 euros. Making that substitution and doing the math here, 2,000 times 0 0.88, we get 1,760 euros. Now let's suppose the exchange rate is now 0 0.75 euros per dollar. That implies a simple equation here, 0 0.75 euros equals 1 US dollar. And we could solve this equation before for euros, so dividing through by 0 0.75, 1 euro equals 1.33 US dollars. Did the US dollar depreciate? Yes, 1 dollar gets back less foreign currency now, returning only 0 0.75 euros, where before it returned 0 0.88 euros. How does the change in the exchange rate affect the price of a Disney vacation for an Italian family and the price of an Italian meal for an American family? So Disney, the Disney vacation is 2,000 US dollars. We're going to plug in our new information based on the new exchange rate. So for US dollar here, we're going to put in 0 0.75 euro from this equation, making that substitution. We can see the Disney vacation is cheaper now for Italians, coming in at only 1,500 euros. When the dollar depreciates, U.S. goods become cheaper for foreigners. As for the Italian meal, at 30 euros, going to make a substitution for the euro here, plugging in 1.33 U.S. dollars. And now that Italian meal has a price of 40 U.S. dollars. When the dollar depreciates, foreign goods become more expensive for Americans. Okay, that's it for my examples.